Our next speaker are Vladimir Mazia and Alexander Mavchan. Uh, and uh, the title of their talk is Mesoscale Uniform Asymptotic Approximations for Singular Perturbed Problems. You are welcome. Thank you very much for the introduction. It's my great pleasure to uh, give the uh, uh, joint lecture with uh, Professor Vladimir uh, Mazia. And the uh, title is Mesoscale Uniform Asymptotic Approximations for Singular Perturbed Problems. And uh, uh, okay, as you can see on the first uh, slide, it's uh, uh, related to uh, domains with uh, uh, many multi-scale uh, defects that can be arranged as a cloud. There is no periodicity, and the shapes uh, can be uh, different as well. I will uh, begin with uh, uh, some background references. Of course, the uh, list is, I'm sure, uh, uh, incomplete and there could be uh, many more references added. Uh, and uh, so, uh, here uh, we have uh, 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 references to uh, several papers uh, published on uh, 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 asymptotic uh, treatment of perforated domains without homogenization. So this uh, method is, uh, uh, is an alternative to homogenization method. And uh, Green's kernels and mesoscale approximations uh, in perforated domains uh, where the approximations are uh, uniform and the reference to is a book. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and then the reference three again is on uh, uh, Green's kernels but for transmission problems in the bodies with uh, small inclusions. Uh, then uh, this extends to uh, uh, mixed uh, 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 boundary value problems and uh, eigenvalue problems. And of course, uh, it's uh, important to uh, uh, cite the uh, uh, classical work by Marcin and uh, Kruslov on homogenization, uh, partial differential equations, and uh, uh, the, uh, the volume uh, book by Mazia, Nazarov, and Tominyevsky on asymptotic theory of elliptic boundary value problems in singular picture domains. Uh, uh, there are several uh, additional uh, references which are important uh, uh, to mention. Uh, there was a paper published uh, by uh, uh, Serenesco and Murat in 1982 uh, with an uh, interesting title. The title of the paper is A Strange Term Brought From Somewhere Else. The result of homogenization uh, uh, was an operator that was different from the uh, original uh, operator they started with. They uh, started with the uh, Dirichlet uh, boundary value problem uh, for the uh, Laplacian, and that was uh, the main with the cloud of uh, uh, Dirichlet defects, and uh, ended up with the operator which was Laplacian minus uh, mu, uh, where mu uh, was a positive uh, constant. And uh, uh, so, uh, but of course, uh, this, uh, this result was uh, uh, published uh, by um, uh, uh, Martin and Khruslov. Uh, this uh, reference part is uh, no. the translation, the uh, Russian edition was uh, uh, much earlier. Uh, and Там, где приветствие. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, quote the verb by Figari, Arwangi and uh, uh, Tita. Я все дам потом только. Сейчас я не могу тут приветствовать. Съемка идет. А сейчас зачем? Нет. Нет. В 15.00. В 15.00. В 15.00. Посмотри на это, да, так нечего разбираться, я дам все. У него есть зум, у него собственный зум есть. Да, зум шипака. Давай переписываться. Да, да, да. да. Uh, uh, of, uh, say, 
uh, uh, describe the physical field uh, 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 in the uh, domain containing uh, small uh, holes, a finite number of small holes. Uh, well, here it's uh, in three dimensions. Then uh, you can uh, use the uh, uh, classical, very well established uh, uh, theory uh, of uh, uh, dilute uh, uh, composites. And uh, then, if the uh, holes are finite, uh, finite size uh, interacting with each other, well, uh, then uh, usually it's done numerically. So you have a micro scale on one hand and a macro scale on the other hand. Uh, then uh, you can have an intermediate uh, situation when uh, the uh, uh, perforations are small. But the number of these perforations uh, is uh, large. So you have uh, two parameters. One is the small parameter characterizing the relative size of the uh, hole, and another one is the large parameter characterizing the uh, uh, number of the holes in the plaster, or you can uh, translate it into the uh, distance uh, between, between the holes. And, uh, this is the intermediate case, which we refer to as uh, uh, mesoscale. Uh, then, uh, uh, Ivo uh, Babushka and uh, his colleagues uh, were very interested in problems of this type in the context of uh, uh, practical applications uh, for the uh, finite element uh, algorithms. And uh, on the right on this slide, you can see a sketch uh, of uh, some of the problems they looked at. And uh, really, the idea was to uh, take, uh, uh, take a cell and uh, try to solve uh, uh, this cell there, uh, the uh, solution into the, uh, into the algorithm. It's not easy. Uh, uh, then, um, in practical uh, situation, uh, on the left, you can actually uh, uh, take uh, micrograph uh, uh, images uh, of defects. So uh, with the modern technology, uh, you can actually have uh, the data set uh, that gives you coordinates of all the impurities. Uh, and uh, but the problem is that you may have uh, uh, many of those inclusions. And uh, what would you do if you have, say, 10,000 three-dimensional inclusions and you have this kind of computational task? It's uh, uh, simply uh, very, very challenging and sometimes just impossible. Um, now, uh, the uh, question is, uh, uh, what would we do? And uh, first, uh, some uh, formal settings. Uh, here we have uh, uh, the uh, set of planes, uh, all capital uh, distributed uh, in, uh, in space. Uh, this can be done in multi-dimensional settings, but uh, for simplicity, I will begin with 3D. And uh, D is the uh, minimal distance uh, uh, between uh, these uh, points within the cluster. Uh, and uh, then uh, we introduce small perforations. Uh, here it's, uh, 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 they are uh, F epsilon uh, superscript J. And uh, the uh, set of these uh, perforations is uh, uh, omega capital epsilon D. So there are two parameters. Epsilon is the uh, 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 relative uh, size of the defect. Here it's actually maximum of uh, the diameter of uh, F epsilon uh, J. And uh, D is the distance uh, uh, between the defects. And um, then we also assume uh, that uh, uh, this uh, perforated set is uh, embedded in uh, some domain omega small. Uh, which we refer to as a cloud, and it is separated by the uh, finite distance from the exterior boundary, if you consider a uh, uh, boundary value problem in a finite uh, domain. So that's a, a sketch that explains this uh, uh, notations. So you can see this uh, uh, cluster of perforations. Uh, they are uh, uh, embedded into the main omega uh, small and the boundary, uh, the omega lowercase is separated from the exterior boundary, the omega capital by a finite distance. Uh, now we can uh, uh, look at uh, some model uh, boundary value problem. Uh, the results uh, have been obtained for uh, uh, different classes 
uh, of apparatus, including uh, those of uh, uh, vector uh, problems of elasticity. Uh, but uh, uh, here I will, uh, uh, in this presentation, will focus on uh, uh, problems either uh, related to Laplace's operator or Henkoid's operator. And at the end, I uh, uh, may uh, show uh, an example time permitting uh, related uh, to the uh, biharmonic operator, but it's uh, uh, just a illustrative example at the very end. Uh, so here we have uh, Dirichlet. Uh, boundary value problem uh, for the Poisson's equation uh, in the uh, uh, multiply perforated domain as explained uh, earlier. And uh, as, uh, as usual in the asymptotic algorithms uh, 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 that uh, uh, were developed by Masia, Nazarov and uh, Plaminevsky, uh, we introduce uh, model domains. And uh, here, the model domain number one is the uh, unperturbed domain omega. And uh, for that, uh, we would uh, need uh, also Green's function. Uh, and uh, here, we use uh, the uh, uh, notation H capital for the regular part of Green's function. Uh, uh, at, uh, at this stage, in this example, it's, uh, it's a 3D formulation. But, uh, 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 the uh, two-dimensional analysis and multi-dimensional uh, formulations have also been uh, considered. Uh, now we also need uh, the uh, harmonic capacitory potential, and uh, it's a standard uh, object defined as, uh, uh, as shown in formula 9, 10, 11. So these are harmonic functions uh, that uh, vanish uh, at infinity, and they equal to be uh, uh, unity on the uh, boundary of an individual uh, perforation. Uh, of course, if, uh, if you do have a two-dimensional formulation, the uh, uh, asymptotic construction will change for the obvious reason, because uh, there will be logarithmic asymptotics, uh, but uh, I will not uh, dwell on, on, on this right now. Uh, so uh, let's uh, look at uh, the uh, uh, simpler uh, 3D case. Uh, so, uh, then, uh, of course, again, uh, it's a, a classical result that goes back to the poly and Segur that uh, you can write the asymptotic uh, representation for the capacitory potential uh, as uh, written. Uh, uh, Pj can be uh, uh, written as uh, capacity of uh, F uh, uh, epsilon j divided by the uh, norm of uh, x minus oj plus uh, smaller terms. Uh, and uh, uh, so, and in this case, uh, uh, we're going to use this asymptotic representation as we go. Uh, now, then uh, uh, here we assume that uh, the uh, parameter epsilon uh, characterizing the uh, size of the inclusions is uh, less than or equal to c uh, times d squared with a sufficiently small constant uh, uh, c. Uh, and uh, typically, uh, this, uh, uh, this constraint is much weaker than uh, uh, the one we would uh, use in the classical homogenization uh, uh, theory. Uh, and uh, also, we have absolutely uh, no requirement uh, uh, for periodicity. Uh, uh, but uh, you can simply say that uh, <coughs> you have information about uh, uh, position. Uh, of, uh, uh, of the uh, impurities, inclusions, or voids. Uh, so, and then uh, the uh, solution of the Dirichlet uh, boundary value problem is uh, uh, approximated as uh, follows. It's written in the formula 13. Uh, so, UF is the solution of the Dirichlet problem. And uh, then we have the uh, sum uh, uh, the unknown coefficients, the CJ. And uh, here in brackets, uh, we have the uh, uh, p epsilon j minus 4 pi times capacity of uh, f epsilon j times the regular part of Green's function and the remainder term, uh, which is, of course, harmonic function uh, and estimated as L capital of epsilon squared by d cubed uh, in the cloud. Uh, this is uh, a uniform asymptotic approximation uh, and uh, so it includes the uh, boundary layers. Now, uh, of course, uh, what about these coefficients? Uh, these uh, coefficients uh, are obtained 
uh, as uh, the uh, uh, solution uh, of the uh, algebraic system uh, written written here, and uh, uh, U F is the vector uh, uh, consisting of uh, the uh, values of the unperturbed solution and the uh, points uh, O one etc O n uh, representing the cluster of uh, defects and the matrix as D is the matrix which involves uh, the uh, uh, Green's function uh, related at uh, OK and uh, OJ uh, of the diagonal e increase in this expired uh, 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 in this uh, characterized this is the problem uh, between Now, of course, the ties uh, incredibly uh, uh, solutions in the infinite space, uh, and the uh, term uh, which uh, uh, incorporates the regular part of Green's function uh, disappears, and the formula is, sim is simplified uh, uh, to the representation uh, 17. And uh, again, the coefficients. The C obtained from the uh, much simpler algebraic system. And uh, this algebraic system is uh, really uh, uh, straightforward to handle, and this can be uh, embedded uh, into uh, uh, numerical algorithms, which will be uh, hybrid algorithms uh, involving, uh, say, finite element uh, combined with asymptotic approximations. And I will show you the examples later. Uh, well, uh, uh, some uh, uh, illustrative examples. Imagine you have a cloud of uh, uh, small holes and a uh, uh, large cloud, and you would like to construct harmonic capacity potential for the, uh, uh, for the cloud. And, uh, uh, and then, uh, in this case, uh, you can uh, derive the asymptotic approximation uh, of uh, uh, that uh, capacity uh, as uh, uh, shown uh, in, uh, uh, in, in the formula uh, 2029. 20, uh, so, uh, and uh, in, in particular, if all the holes have the same uh, shape, then uh, uh, you don't need to introduce the matrix uh, D epsilon because uh, capacity of F epsilon will be the same and the formula simplifies uh, uh, dramatically. Uh, and uh, uh, then, uh, if, he, uh, if you think of this, uh, uh, then uh, you can uh, oh, use it uh, and uh, uh, say compare with the homogenization theory. Oh, uh, the comparison is actually uh, pretty good in the, uh, in the special cases when uh, you can construct the homogenization approximation. Uh, so uh, now, of course, the question is, uh, uh, what is the uh, connection to the homogenization uh, theory? And uh, uh, at uh, this stage, I would like to uh, quote again the work by Marcin and Khrushchev and uh, the paper uh, uh, published by Cyrenesco and uh, Nura. And uh, let's have a look at uh, bounded uh, uh, domain uh, uh, and uh, think of a, a subset from a periodic composite. And assume here uh, that epsilon is uh, uh, subject to a stronger constraint, so epsilon is less than or equal to than the CD cubed. And again, for simplicity, uh, we assume that all the holes have the same uh, uh, shape and uh, can be obtained by a translation of a small three-dimensional domain at epsilon. Um, and then uh, also uh, we introduce a quantity uh, here it's called mu, uh, that is defined as the limit of 4 pi times the capacity of, of epsilon divided by d cubed, when d tends to zero. And uh, so the uh, result uh, uh, published in, uh, 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 in, the, uh, in the paper by uh, Serenesco and Barat 
uh, and also uh, it was earlier uh, obtained by Martin the homogenized problem uh, corresponds to the operator uh, delta minus uh, uh, mu. Uh, here chi is the uh, characteristic uh, function uh, uh, corresponding to the uh, cloud uh, where we have this uh, uh, small small inclusions. And of course, uh, within this uh, uh, cluster, the uh, uh, solution is uh, uh, well is characterized by this exponential localization as expected. Uh, now, uh, you can obtain uh, uh, this uh, uh, this result. But, uh, well, by using the uh, method uh, presented here, the mesoscale asymptotic approximations. Uh, and uh, in particular, uh, you can say, so uh, suppose I want to use uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, results of homogenization. How would uh, uh, two methods uh, link to each other? Can be observed? The answer is yes. Uh, so, for example, if you would like to have asymptotic uh, solution of the Dirichlet problem in a perforated domain, but uh, uh, now it's uh, uh, in the uh, framework of stronger uh, constraints, uh, when the epsilon is uh, uh, less than uh, CT cubed, uh, instead of uh, solving a system of uh, 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 algebraic equations, uh, you can simply approximate the coefficient cj with uh, o uh, hat of uh, oj. And uh, so these are uh, uh, values of the homogenized solution at the points oj. Is there any price to pay? Yes. Uh, that's the uh, remainder estimate. So uh, this approximation is uh, less accurate. Uh, but, but still you can see, uh, still you can see the uh, uh, connection. Uh, of course, if you, if you do use the mesoscale approximations as described earlier, then uh, uh, you can obtain superior accuracy and uh, uh, point-wise uh, approximation uh, within the cluster. Uh, so, you, uh, in terms of uh, numerical uh, comparison, again, if you uh, go back uh, to the uh, capacity of a cluster of, uh, 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 of uh, small inclusions, uh, you have mesoscale approximations against homogenization approximations. So uh, they are uh, 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 consistent with each other as, as expected. Uh, but of course, uh, mesoscale approximation can be used uh, with uh, much weaker constraints and uh, you can have any shapes of the voids, uh, no periodicity whatsoever. And, uh, all you need is the uh, set of coordinates uh, characterizing positioning of this uh, voids. The challenge is, well, you may have, say, uh, 100,000 uh, voids, and numerically this task will be impossible, but uh, with the uh, mesoscale approximations, you make it possible. Recording stopped. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, now, uh, uh, Small, uh, 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 small view of the Neumann uh, problems. Uh, uh, what does, uh, does anything change if you consider Neumann boundary conditions? Yes. Uh, uh, in this case, Zoom is okay. uh, the potentials are not of much use. Uh, and, uh, for example, you would like to have this uh, non-conform uh, to do something else. And uh, here, uh, you need typo fields. Still, uh, green functions uh, are important, and uh, the uniformity of the asymptotic expansion, uh, which means that we construct all the boundary layers, uh, is, is also important. Uh, the model algebraic system is mm -hmm. in place. Recording in progress. Uh, uh, but uh, instead, uh, instead of uh, operating with uh, uh, capacitory potentials, uh, uh, now we have uh, polarization matrices, uh, and the uh, matrix S uh, here uh, uh, is now a matrix uh, which incorporates the derivatives of uh, 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 Green's functions. So uh, I uh, I'm not going to dwell on this uh, for uh, uh, long because of uh, 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 time constraints, but just wanted to uh, mention that. Uh, uh, there is a uh, substantial 
difference uh, between Dirichlet and Neumann uh, problems when we talk about mesoscale approximations. Uh, so, uh, in, in this case, uh, uh, if, uh, if, you, if you have really weak constraint, uh, uh, like shown here, uh, you, uh, you can still construct uh, the approximation of the uh, uh, solution of the boundary value problem uh, in uh, this uh, uh, form, uh, where uh, uh, dk uh, 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 represent the uh, dipole uh, dipole uh, fields, and uh, C uh, coefficients are solutions of the algebraic system that I have already discussed. And of course, the energy estimate uh, is uh, is also derived uh, here. Now. Uh, as, uh, as you have already seen, green functions here are very important. And uh, uh, so these uh, two references uh, uh, related to the publications uh, uh, by Masia and Mofchin of 2006 and 2007 uh, give the uniform asymptotic formulae for green kernels in domains with singular uh, uh, perturbations, and in particular uh, perforations. So, uh, this is the example uh, of a uniform approximation of uh, 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 Green's uh, function for the uh, Laplacian uh, uh, in a three-dimensional domain with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, n, n uh, inclusions. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, it does include uh, boundary layers, and it's a uniform asymptotic approximation. Just to explain what these terms are, G in the right hand side is the uh, Green's function in the unperturbed domain. GJ uh, uh, are Green's functions in the exterior of uh, uh, each uh, individual uh, void. Uh, uh, then uh, uh, P are capacitor potentials, and H uh, is the regular part of uh, Green's function, uh, 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 Green's function uh, G. Uh, and uh, and here we have the, uh, well, first of all, we have complete symmetry, as you can see, uh, as you would expect. And uh, also this uh, last term uh, uh, characterizes the uh, interaction uh, uh, between, uh, between the uh, uh, inclusions within the cluster. So, uh, and here is the mesoscale asymptotic approximation for uh, 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 Green's function. Here, of course, uh, 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 this uh, representation looks familiar, uh, similar to what we've seen, and it is done in the infinite space. Uh, uh, we have constructed in the finite domain as well, but just for simplicity, uh, I, I written it in the infinite space. C, I, J are uh, uh, the coefficients that uh, solve a uh, linear algebraic uh, system uh, of a structure which is similar to what we've seen, but of course it's uh, 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 it's not, uh, uh, it's not exactly the same because uh, it's a uh, uh, Green's function. Uh, and, uh, and now we have the uh, asymptotic uh, uh, estimate for the remainder as well. Uh, so in particular, uh, if, uh, uh, if you have spherical holes, then uh, uh, the representation simplifies uh, incredibly because uh, 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 Green's function uh, in the uh, exterior of uh, spherical holes can be constructed explicitly and uh, and then of course it's a, it's a nice analytical formula which can be used in the computations uh, now some illustrations uh, so uh, uh, first uh, here we have the uh, uh, vibration of a membrane uh, with a uh, cluster of uh, uh, inertial uh, uh, inclusions now uh, here, the operator is uh, the Helmholtz operator, uh, and uh, now imagine you have a, a cluster, but now these inclusions are uh, distributed along a smooth curve, so it's a lower dimensional cluster. And uh, then, uh, in, uh, uh, in this case, of course, we, we use uh, uh, Green's function for the uh, uh, infinite membrane, but please note, uh, uh, you can uh, uh, look at the Helmholtz operator, and in, in this case, we use the uh, Green's function, uh, which uh, takes into account 
the estimatory, estimatory behavior. Of course, in lower net band, uh, the argument K not uh, times x minus y, the modulus of x minus y tends to zero. It has the uh, standard logarithmic uh, isomorphic representation. Uh, now, uh, then, uh, of course, uh, we do have uh, the uh, uh, model uh, fields uh, related to the Yurushke uh, 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 data, the unity uh, in the right hand side on uh, uh, on the uh, on each individual inclusion. In this case, you can think of this as uh, vibrations of rigid inclusions when each inclusion moves like a rigid solid. And, uh, and uh, this is the uh, uh, mesoscale uh, asymptotic approximation, uh, where uh, the uh, 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 system of algebraic equations uh, for the coefficients beta is, is uh, written here. Uh, now, uh, in particular, if you have uh, uh, small, uh, uh, small circular inclusions, uh, then uh, uh, then uh, the uh, problem simplifies uh, quite a bit. Uh, and uh, then the uh, idea is uh, 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 something that can be uh, used in practical applications. And what could it be? Uh, of course, uh, uh, you, can, you can solve this system, uh, but then in addition, can you do anything else? Well, uh, you can actually solve it and uh, uh, see how it compares with uh, other methods compares pretty well but anything else uh, well uh, suppose you would like to use the ideas of uh, 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 homogenization and uh, then uh, 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 look at uh, positioning of these points uh, uh, along uh, some curve in a, a periodic fashion and uh, then uh, look at your algebraic system uh, but then when you uh, uh, look at it uh, 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 simply uh, use uh, the representation involving Green's function, take Laplace's operator, and uh, write your equation in this form. So you have this additional term uh, corresponding to this dynamic input from the inclusions. And as you can see, it's, uh, uh, it's not just uh, m omega squared. No, it's a, it's a rational function of omega. Uh, so uh, to be uh, thought, uh, you can derive effective transmission conditions across the structured interface uh, written here. That, that's one example. Another example, and I know that my time is uh, uh, limited and I have to finish, uh, is uh, uh, related to uh, uh, structured uh, uh, plates. So imagine you have a cluster, uh, and now the operator is uh, 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 like this. It's delta squared minus beta to the form. Uh, so, in this case, uh, Green's function has uh, a more interesting form. Uh, the other thing which is uh, good about this Green's function is that it's bounded when the R tends to uh, R prime. That's uh, uh, quite, uh, 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 quite good for flexible plates. And, uh, and then, uh, uh, what we want is to think of the cluster uh, and uh, in this cluster is modeled as uh, uh, rigid pins, uh, and I'm looking at the simplified uh, uh, case uh, in the uh, well in the context of, uh, of what uh, Azava and uh, uh, Figari and uh, Tita uh, did. Uh, so here uh, you can uh, look at uh, uh, sources with unknown intensities CP, and uh, then. Uh, as before, uh, you can uh, uh, look at the solution uh, uh, well in this form uh, using the representation involving grids functions and uh, look at your algebraic system and then, of course, uh, try to solve it. Uh, the interesting uh, feature about this uh, uh, would be uh, resonance defect modes. And, and, of course, this can be found if you have a cluster extending to infinity. If you have a finite class, then try to find uh, 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 the uh, eigenvalues, you will see that they will have small imaginary parts that uh, 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 describes uh, physically the leakage of uh, energy. But uh, as you extend it uh, to infinity, I can see the infinite periodic structure, you will find this, uh, uh, this mode. And uh, that's, that's the computational example uh, where you can see, uh, you can see the, uh, the 
false uh, uh, corresponding to this uh, uh, localized uh, 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 defect. Now, uh, uh, for uh, people who work on so-called uh, uh, phononic band gap structures, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not surprising uh, because uh, uh, you would expect uh, to see the uh, uh, low frequency band gap можно exactly, uh, попросить uh, вот uh, камеры, uh, которые uh, у них стоит, сделать одну фотку. Мы не на церемонии нас, нужны вас это важно. Окей, thank you very much to Vladimir and Alexander for very interesting talk. And what questions do you have? Excuse me, we have one question. Okay. Please go ahead. Yes. Our question is uh, about the uh, structure of radiation condition. Why it is so strange uh, remainder term in the uh, right side of your, rest, uh, of your radiation condition with uh, power coefficient uh, are non-integer? Okay. Uh, uh. In this case, in this case, we are looking at uh, uh, propagation, propagation of waves, and uh, uh, in uh, uh, in this case, it doesn't have any uh, uh, any significance. So uh, it's uh, uh, so that's the answer. It doesn't have any significance. The significance is uh, in the uh, in in the structure of the uh, cluster, and. Uh, 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 And that's uh, 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 that's what it is. But uh, thanks very much for uh, for the note. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Other questions, please. I have a question. Yes. <coughs> Instead of uh, new inclusion, instead of Dirichlet, uh, modern Dirichlet condition, you will impose. Uh, Robin dissipative condition. Can you obtain this similar results? Now, uh, are you talking about uh, uh, this problem? Mm -hmm. Sorry, yes, you assume a uh, homogeneous derivative bounding condition at the border of preparation. Yes. If instead we impose dissipative uh, Fourier condition. Okay. Will uh, will you be, be, be prove a similar result? Uh, well, uh, uh, the uh, short answer is: uh, uh, if you change the boundary conditions, the problem changes. Uh, and uh, uh, so you, uh, you looked at different types of boundary conditions: so Dirichlet, Neumann, uh, transmission conditions, then. Uh, uh, можно сделать фото аудитории вот оттуда потом 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 And uh, if you change the boundary condition, the scheme uh, changes. And uh, in particular, uh, because our asymptotic approximations are uniform, we construct boundary layers. So uh, uh, the boundary layers will change. And uh, we, uh, we also use uh, 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 green functions uh, uh, corresponding to these boundary layers. So obviously, if you change the boundary uh, uh, condition, then uh, you have to make appropriate adjustment in the representation of Prince functions as well. But uh, it's an it, it's a absolutely uh, a perfect uh, note, very good question, and thanks very much. <laughs>